Are we finally headed for a slowdown just when everybody's given up on the idea? As I said at the top, I'm looking for brown shoots wherever I can find them, and they're starting to pop up in important places. Look, if there's one thing people are confident about, including yours truly, it's the economy still humming. We talked about the banks yesterday, Wells Fargo, J.P. Morgan, Citigroup, and the like, and we didn't hear anything from them to suggest that higher interest rates are having much of an impact yet, aside from making the banks more profitable. It's a solid moment, not a fabulous one, as Brian Jordan, the straight shooting CEO of First Horizon, told us last night, and he's from the hottest area of the country, the southeast. We've got a healthy amount of commerce and few defaults. This is certainly not what Fed Chief Jay Powell was looking to see, because in this environment, companies can raise prices too easily. That feeds the flame of inflation. I think he never would have committed to no more rate hikes if he had known that business was going to stay this strong. However, we got two companies this week that gave us a very different narrative, a real wake-up call, a narrative that's rife with what I call brown shoots. We're getting these negative stories from excellent companies that are far more sensitive to media trends than the banks are, or pretty much any entity out there. The best examples, profoundly weak numbers from J.B. Hunt, the fourth largest trucker and perhaps the most, uh, the boldest one when it came to expanding last few years and highly disappointing results from Prologis, the largest owner of logistics real estate. Before I get into the numbers, let me just say two things here. Uh, both of these companies are superb operators. J.B. Hunt, run by outgoing CEO John Roberts, and the extraordinary incoming CEO, Shelly Simpson, has put together a true nationwide colossus. They took advantage of the COVID era to get much bigger. That was smart. Prologis, the landlord to e-commerce, regular commerce, data centers, even solar fields, is about as steady a predictor of the economy as you can find because they own the warehouses. It was the first stock to rally out of the Great Recession is total control of its business. Or at least I thought it did until yesterday. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on X. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Mentions. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.